It's free, yet many Malaysians have yet to get vaccinated. Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Chong Lai says the response to the AH1N1 vaccinations among Malaysians is still low, even though it is free at government hospitals and clinics nationwide. He says this should not happen, especially among those in the high-risk category, since AH1N1 is still an epidemic. So far, only 123,000 Malaysians had been given the vaccine. The government will restore the visa-free transit facility for nationals from Bangladesh, India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka from July 1st. Deputy Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin says the government felt that the facility would benefit the country's tourism industry. He said at one time the facility was available but it was withdrawn for certain reasons. On another note, Malaysians will have to be prepared to tighten their belts when proposed subsidy cuts are implemented from June. The country will save 103 billion ringgit over the next five years if the government slashes its subsidy bill now or else Malaysia will face bankruptcy by 2019. Subsidy cuts will involve the price of petrol, sugar, flour, cooking oil. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Datuk Sri Idris Jala, says if the move is not made, the future generations will have to pay for the consequences.